My name's Chad Rudd. I'm the majority leader from Wolf County High School, and a lot of times what ends up happening is, uh, besides these three individuals here, uh, people don't understand what the Student Senate does. Uh, I guess the main thing that a student senator does at any school is they give student voice. And that, that's, our, that's our first option right there. Um, Jerry is our senior member right here. Brendan's not with us today. And Jerry's going to talk about a few of the initiatives that, uh, that he was uh, instrumental in developing this year at Wolf County. Um, right here, I threw this together. This is the Wolf County High School uh, oh, Students in the Plan. Well, I worked hard, yeah, but... but uh, uh, the first project that we really took hold on and did was our first responders breakfast. Uh, due to this, the negative response that first responders uh, receive from America and even around the globe and other countries, we see that. Um, we bring them into the school and it gives them an opportunity to speak with students and eat and it's just a, a lot of fun and it gives us an opportunity to show, show our appreciation for what they do. Um, and that's a really big thing for us. And right now, this is something we're actually in the process of doing. Um, is uh, outside picnic area. We have a new wing put onto our uh, building and there's a really nice grassy area outside and uh, students like to go out there and it's, it's really nice out there. So we're teaming up with our uh, furniture technology class group and they are building several picnic tables to put out there and the students will be able to sit and you know just uh, do whatever they want out there. It would be nice. And yeah, as I said, it's a good addition of the school. They'll be able to eat, study, and just communicate and cultivate school culture. Another big thing that I worked on is we had a safe schools audit. And then after that, we took and implemented a safe schools survey. Um, through this survey, we just wanted to know how our school was processing all the events happening in the United States at this time. And um, we talked to classes individually. and just to find out how they were processing it and uh, we reminded them on safety procedures and stuff like that. Uh, the questions pertain to how comfortable students actually were in individual parts of the building to know if there was something that we needed to address. Uh, it, it talked about bullying and, the, and what you, the processes you take to report bullying and then processes in case of emergency. Uh, and it worked as a tool for, to get the information we wanted. After surveying Wolf County High School, we uh, came to the conclusion that there were a lot of students that did not feel comfortable with the back doors being unlocked in the mornings. Uh, they were unlocked because there was a student parking lot in the back of the building, and they just didn't, they didn't like everyone not entering through the same entrance. So we made a policy and procedures change and moved everyone up to the front entrance and move the students to the lot in front of the school. So now teachers, students, and everyone entering the school has to enter through the same door. Uh, another big thing that we're in the process of right now, and it's happening soon, is our STEM day. Uh, STEM means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, we're hosting a district-wide STEM day. Elementary students will ride buses over to where it's being hosted, and uh, they get it sorted into groups. And once in these groups, they walk around the building learning about all sorts of various subjects. Uh, they get a lesson about, they could get a lesson about anatomy and the import, importance of maintaining your body and then move over and do something with drones and how the big impact that they have on the future. And uh, it's a really incredible day. It's a lot of fun. And everyone that is involved really loves it. Uh, yeah, one thing that I can, I can add to that, any, any administrator or anything, uh, about four years ago, I wanted all the students to park in the front. We have a front parking lot. So you want to talk about war. They, I mean, they refused to park in the gravel lot that he's, that he's talking about, right in front of the building. I mean, they absolutely refused. They fought and fought and fought. Well, we done the little safe schools audit and everything. The next thing you know, and, and he's right, the, the group of seniors specifically that park in the back said, you know, we, we don't like that back door being unlocked. Can we park up front? Sure, I'll try to make that happen. Not one single word. It took one day to move every student driver from the back lot to the front, and not one word was said. But no, no complaints, simply because they had voice and choice.